Hey guys, welcome to beautiful Biscayne Bay in South Miami. We're uh, here at the official launch of the 33 CSF. In our uh, last video, we showed you some of the very beginnings, early stages of the construction of the boat, and now you get to look at the finished product. And we've got a lot of great new features to show you. All right, well, we're going to start at the bow, and the first thing you'll see is we've got a huge open deck here. And uh, sort of unique to this boat is we have the ability to mount a trolley motor on this boat. This particular one doesn't have it, but our boat inside the booth does. Uh, but you can see we've laid out the space and everything's here ready to go. Next big thing, big anchor locker compartment where we've got a quick free fall windlass in here that'll have a chain counter and a light on it. And as we come back into the cockpit, you can see the, the beautiful seating up here. This is in its standard arrangement uh, with two L lounges, but we have the ability to put platforms in here. And we can take those out and turn this whole thing into a uh, casting platform with just non-skid. Or we can put a filler cushion in and turn it into a giant sun deck. Or you can have a cockpit table up here as well. So a lot of useful space up in this area. Next big feature is this beautiful forward lounge. There's a lot of great stuff hidden in here. We're going to start at the front. First big thing, this is our first live well. As you can see, we've got a 20 gallon pressurized live well up in the front so you don't have to run back to the back to get bait when you're fishing out of the bow. Uh, next up, huge storage here in the front. We've got all of our boat show goodies in here, but this is an enormous compartment that's also designed to hold the casting platforms when you're not using those. We've got armrests, lots of leg room, stretch out, enjoy a beautiful day on the water. Every boat always has storage at a premium, and we used every nook and cranny that we could. We've got storage up in the bow, we've got storage here up underneath the Corian countertops, we've got storage all along the gunnels, storage in front of the post, storage in the head. Um, there's always a place to put something, and we've got, all, got it covered. So this is our lockable rod storage. We can get three rods in here on both sides with tubes up to eight feet long. And they lock. And as we come back, our PFD storage for the suspender style PFDs. And then back here, we've got ladder storage, fire extinguisher storage, our pull out uh, wash down hose with a retractable reel, and our hard top shower controls. All right, so this is the new command station for the 33 CSF. As you can see, dual 16 inch screens are standard on the boat, your choice. Um, we've also got your choice of audio systems, as well as this particular boat has the joystick handling um, and a very cool switching system. We've kind of got a hybrid system going on where we've got emergency functions on the manual switches. So if you ever have to hand the boat over to a friend who's not familiar with the boat or a dock hand on a busy holiday weekend, they can always look right here and see nav lights, bilge pump, horn, all the basic safety functions are right here. Then when you get into the main screen, you get into the fun part where we've got the new Lumitech POCO digital switching system as well as the Naviop switching system for the pumps on the boat. Very cool stuff. So with the Lumitech POCO digital lighting system, we have all of our lights grouped into basic functions throughout the boat. And if it's a smart light, we can hold our finger down on the button and bring up a color indicator and say, you know what, I want that to be red, or I want that to be blue, or I want that to be green. If I want to dim it, if I want to make it roll through the spectrum of colors, all those functions are available to me. And I can also group it together where I can say, you know what, I want everything blue, or I want everything red. Or maybe I want 4th of July, I want the boat to be red, white, and blue. We can do all of that, it's all built in. Um, the other side of it is pumps on the Naviop side of things. We've got all of our controls for our washdown pump, freshwater pump, all of our release well pumps, uh, macerators, etc., all in the digital system. And should we have a problem with something, we've got a diagnostic page that brings us up, shows us a, a picture of the Egon, shows us exactly what's a relay, what's a fuse, and if there's a fault, it turns red and points out exactly where in there it is and where to look. One of the big things that we like to do with boat functionality is make things very easy, very simple to use. So on our battery switch system, very concise, very easy to read, very simple operation. You've got three banks of batteries, port, starboard, and house. Should you lose a battery for some reason, if you need to put it in parallel, you pick whichever two batteries that you want to put in parallel, pop those two switches into parallel, and get yourself going again. That simple. No extra switches, 
Nothing else to remember, very easy to use. One of the other great things is the helm seats in this boat. Super, super comfortable. You can take a look here and see we've really got some beautiful styling going on. A lot of lumbar support. This one has the quilted uh, Creval Fin logo in it as well. And we've also got the ability now to slide the, the helm seat back, get it whatever position you like. It's comfortable for your body type. So one of the great new innovative features on this new Creval is the hardtop shower. Everybody's always been at the sandbar, they've been out a day on the water, you get covered in salt, and as that salt starts to dry, you get all sticky and itchy. Well, now you've got the ability to just stand under the shower and rinse the, all that stuff off. Comes right off, goes out the deck drain, nice comfortable ride in. Really a nice feature to have in the middle of a hot summer day. Another great new feature of this uh, new Creval 33 CSF is the leaning post in the aft tackle center. We've got cup holders, tool holders, prep surface, a big tackle center, uh, and a pull-out Yeti underneath as well. So lots and lots of functionality. We'll uh, open this up. You can see we've got a big workstation here. We use deep drawers, a few tackle trays, and we've even got a leader holder that you can put your leader reel in, pull it out, and it's got a ceramic knife cutter on it. So you just snap off what you need, off you go. No real fishing boat would be complete without extra large in-floor fish boxes. This boat doesn't disappoint. We've got 70 inch long in-floor insulated boxes, huge capacity, all with uh, displacement style macerator pumps. So we've gone to great lengths to keep a really clean bilge, as well as provide uh, lots of good, solid seawater to all the different pumps in this boat. So we've incorporated a really nice stainless steel sea chest into the boat that's easy to access. We've got a huge hatch back here. See how clean that is? Big stainless chest, external pumps. No matter what sea state you're in, those pumps are always breathing a nice, clean, heavy shot of water. And keep your bait frisky all day long. So we're big on the creature comforts too, because you've got to have a long ride out to the fishing grounds sometimes, so you need a big, comfortable back seat in the boat. We've provided that. As you can see here, nice, large, heavy-duty seat with a pop-up backrest, big enough for two large guys or three kids. So any serious fishing machine has lots of live oil capacity, and this one's no different. We told you about the front live oil already. Now you can see the dual rear live wells. Each one's 30 gallons with a 1500 GPM pump behind it. The reason we do two, a couple of different reasons. You might want to run different baits. Uh, you might want to uh, use one as a cooler. Uh, other reason is things happen. Let's say you get a bag over a pump or something gets trashed and you lose that uh, capability to move water. You can always move that bait to another tank and save your day. So having that redundancy is a really big, big, important feature. Both of these wells are what is known as pressurized. It's a little bit of a misnomer since water is incompressible, but basically what it means is you're trying to reduce the slosh in the top of that bait tank. Long runs, heavy seas, you don't want your bait bashing against the walls or up against the lid or whatnot. It just uh, kind of wears them out and they're not as frisky when you get there. So if you can keep that well solid and packed, just slightly positive pressure, your bait's gonna arrive in pristine condition. So that's what you're looking at here. We've got the ability to adjust the flow in and the flow out. So you can really fine tune exactly how much flow you've got in that tank, depending on the bait you've got. Um, and once it fills up, it'll come up, it'll kiss off on the top of that clear acrylic lid, and it'll send the rest overboard, and you've got a nice, comfortable bath for your bait as you run out to the ground. So the boat has two entries, depending on how you're set up at the dock. You've got a good way in. The biggest one now is the dive door on the side, and as you can see, big, heavy-duty hardware, solid latch, friction hinges, and a beautiful opening with a ladder that flips over the side for when you're out of the sandbar having fun with the kids. So here's the aft entry on the port side. Swings all the way out of the way. You've got a full platform to enter the boat with. Another important feature to have on a boat is a good freshwater sink. We've got a large one back here. As you can see, this pops up. We can swivel however we want, control the water flow, clean things up, put her away. The other neat thing we've got back down here is our integrated tackle center, which moms are gonna love this. We provide two cutting boards, one for bait, one for lines. You always have a good place to, to cut food and one to cut bait and not have that cross-contamination. Another important feature nowadays is a lot of great entry from the rear side of the boat. So this boat has large integrated rear platforms with lots of non-skid on them. Uh, great if you have uh, to uh, get up to a kind of a funky dock that's got very varying heights. Um, and if you've got a lot of kids on board, uh, also great for hanging out in the summer at the sandbar. So you can never have enough space on the back of the boat. 
So this is an all new hull design, Creval's own design, and it's a very efficient hull. It's great starting out with a set of 300s, but we've powered it uh, all the way up to 450s, twin 450s, so a 600 to 900 horsepower range. Uh, this particular boat has 400s on it with the joystick option. Uh, right now we're currently idling out here in Biscayne Bay on the uh, skyhook function, and we're not moving. We're just kind of sitting here holding our own. Uh, it's a really, really nice feature to have. And if you've got a hold for a bridge, hold for fuel, hold for a dock to clear, man, it's worth its weight in gold. Well, gang, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of the all-new Creval 33 CSF. We've got a lot of great features to show you. There's so much innovation in this new boat, everything from the construction method to the design that was used behind it. Uh, lots of great features you saw in the first video, some of the infusion techniques and how that really contributes to the, to the ride of quality of the boat uh, and the longevity of it. Uh, so when you're in the, ready for the market for a new 33-footer, come see us, give us a call or contact your local dealer. We'd love to help you out.